You know, I just find it amazing, you know, when you tell people the truth and you say something like, oh, well, I would never live anywhere near a black community because, you know, it's very dangerous. They don't invest in their communities. They don't invest in business. The businesses are their businesses. Uh, when people, when the blacks get out of wherever they, they came from, their communities, they don't go back. They don't go back. Why is that? Why don't they go back? Because nobody wants to fucking be there. All right. And the fact that, you know, everybody just wants to walk around with blinders on and then and live in denial and can't even be honest with themselves. You know, when you say something like, I wouldn't want to live anywhere near a black community because it's the truth. You can get r- robbed, mugged, um, God only knows what. And, <laughs> you know... Uh, and at the worst get shot or k- and killed or, you know, because they're not very nice people and they're not the nicest places to live. And, you know, and they're usually very poor areas because, you know, they don't invest in their communities. They don't make opportunities for themselves by investing in their communities and businesses and all this stuff like all the other minorities do. Like I said in my my one of my other videos, you know, Nancy Pelosi's, you know, down there on her knee, you know, with the kente cloth and everything. And then the next scene, you see her saying, come to Chinatown. Come to Chinatown. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> nobody wants to go to nigga town. I can tell you that right now. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nobody and they stay together they all they always segregate themselves and they do it you know they just do it wherever wherever they're going to they are wherever they're going to live you know the property values everything's going to go down because they don't do anything to invest in their communities and when the wealthy ones from get wealthy from doing athletics or, you know, basketball and football or anything like that, or rapping or anything like that, like I said, they leave those communities and they never go back. They never go back and invest in those communities. They never bring money back to those communities. And, you know, people can sit there and, and not be honest with themselves and lie to themselves and, you know, and everything else, but it's the truth. Like I say, you know, it's like when, when, uh, like everywhere you, whenever you go to a black community, it's like everything is owned by other minorities and they wonder why their communities do so bad because the people that, that, that do invest in those communities, oh, they've got a Mexican restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, they've got, you know, they invest in their communities and, you know, they end up being in those, you know, caught up in, in, in those black communities because, you know, it's probably um, the only thing that they're because blacks don't invest in their communities. All right. They don't. And nobody wants to live there. Only black people want to live there. They segregate themselves and live there. And then they, then, you know, they just bring down the property values in the whole area, you know, and everything because, you know, they don't do anything. They don't care about their communities like other minorities do. I've been to Hispanic communities all over, all over the country and, you know, and especially in California, you know, on the West coast and the Hispanic communities, you know, they're, they're, you know, middle class firmly middle class people you know and they do very well in this country and they start up lots of businesses there is not one business uh, closed there's a storefront there, there's a mexican there working that storefront okay that that's selling something doing something in that community when you go to the black communities all you see is boarded up buildings from one one block to the next boarded up storefronts because they don't invest in their communities. You know, you go to the the, 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 the gay communities, even. You know, another minority, GLBT people. You can go to those communities. They're, they're like some of, the, some of the wealthiest communities in the country. 
because they invest in their communities. They spend money and they invest in businesses and, and raise the property values, raise the value of, of their communities. All right? Because most minorities do, not black people. I don't know what's wrong with them. There's something wrong with them. Like they, they just want everybody to take care of them and make, keep making excuses for them their whole lives. And they just keep waiting for more money. Oh, Kamala Harris wants to give them, you know, $15,000 for home. And, you know, they want to give them lots of money. It's just throwing good money after bad if they're not going to, you know, invest in their own communities. All right. And so, you know, and this is why they don't. And this is why you know there's some of the worst there's some of the worst neighborhoods in this country it's black neighborhoods black communities because they don't invest in their own communities like other minorities do that's their problem it's not anyone else's problem it's their problem okay because when they make it and make millions of dollars and all this stuff they are become you know <laughs> you know rate uh, uh, lift up, you know, out of the out of the poverty class and into the middle and, and upper middle class and and up, you know, they leave those communities and they never go back, and they don't invest in those communities at all, okay, like other minorities do. And that's their problem. It's not one anyone else's problem. It's their problem. No one else.